So this question is a diagram question. At least immediately, it seems like it would be. We have these two angles here with A degrees and B degrees provided. So the question says the angles shown above are acute and sine of A equals cosine of B, which I will write down sine A degrees equals cosine of B degrees. If A equals, so A equals 4K minus 22, and B equals 6K minus 13, what is the value of K? So this is a perfect plug-in answers question. So plug-in answer questions basically will always ask you for the, the value of a variable, and all the answer choices represent the value of that variable, right? And you can plug in, right, these values into um, an expression or an equation. So I'm going to just combine this together because the sine of A really means that I have the sine of 4K minus 22 equals the cosine of B really means that I have the cosine of 6K minus 13. So how do we use plug-in answers? Well, answer choice A says that K is equal to 4.5. So if I try that sine 4 times 4.5, minus 22 equals cos 6 times 4.5 minus 13. So I go to my calculator and I see that 4 times 4.5 is 18 minus 22 is negative 4. So you have sine negative 4 equals cos, right? 6 times 4.5 is 27. 27 minus 13 is 14, so cos of 14. And you can literally just try this in your calculator, right? We're going to assume these are degree measurements, not radians, because right, A and B are in degrees. So you can just try, well, on your calculator, what is the sign of negative 4? So I get negative 0 0.069 and some more decimal points. What is the cosine of 14, right? So cosine of 14. Um, I don't get that, right? So I get 0 0.97. So this is not correct, which means answer choice A is incorrect, which means we just cross that out. And we will just continue to go through this process, right? So when I try choice B, again, I say sine 4 times 5.5 minus 22 equals cos 6 times 5.5 minus 13 and go back to my calculator, four times 5.5 is 22, minus 22 is zero, so I get sine zero equals, and then five, six times 5.5 is 33, minus 13 is 20, so sine of zero equals cos 20, which I know to be incorrect, but again, you go to your calculator and you just try, well, the sine of zero is zero and the cosine of 20 is not zero right it's 0 0.94 basically so not true so so far we've gotten rid of a and b and as much as this might be an arduous process we just keep going we only have two more options so let's try c so we have c so sine 4 times 12.5 minus 22 equals cos 6 times 12.5 minus 13. So go back to the calculator. 4 times 12.5 is 48. Oops, that's not true. I typed the wrong thing in. 4 times 12.5 equals 50. Minus 22 equals 28. So this becomes sine 28. And then 6 times 12.5 is equal to 75 minus 13 is 62. So cos 62. I'm pretty sure this is correct, but let's check it out. So 28, and we've taken the sine of 28, which is, I get in my calculator, 0 0.47, basically. And then the cosine of 62, I get that same 0 0.47. 
and therefore the answer must be choice C.